Assalamu alaikum. Welcome you all to the online math class. I am Muhammad Dazbi Kodi, math teacher, Milestone School and College. Today we are here for solving some maths of exercise 11. Before that, I want to say in this epidemic, don't go outside. Stay home and maintain all the safety issues. For going outside, wear a mask and use sanitizer. Be regular in online math class. And turn on your camera when you are in Zoom class. Practice all the words given by our teachers. Inshallah, your JSC preparation will up to the mark. Now, I would uh, like to ask you a few questions of our previous class. Can you tell me what is the formula of range? Yes, I think you are right. Range, the formula of range is Range equal to highest numerical value minus lowest lowest numerical value plus one. So this is the formula of range. Can you tell me how we are going to find out number of class? Yes, I think you are right. Number of class, number of class that equal to range by class interval. Please memorize all the formula of this chapter as much as you can memorize. It will be easier to you to solve the math of this chapter. So please memorize them. Now we are going to solve of this chapter's math number 10 and 11. In this video you can see. So first question of today. What is center tendency? It is very important for your JSC examination. So what is central tendency? The tendency of clustering of the data to the value at middle or center is called central tendency so where all the data are scattered if you just arrange them you can see there is some data are just in the middle and all the data are around it okay so the central value of the data is a representative number which measures the central tendency okay generally the measurement of central tendency are arithmetic average median and more so these are the central three and central tendency of the data so please memorize it i think uh, if you memorize it is very common question for your gst or other examination okay so it will be wiser to you to memorize okay my dear students here is question number 10 of exercise 11 the question is a table is given below Find the arithmetic mean. Draw the histogram of the data. So what is the data? Marks obtained. 6, 10. The frequency is 5. 11 to 15, that is 17. 16 to 20, that is 30. 21 to 25, that is 38. 26 to 30, that is 35. 31 to 35, that is 10. And 36 to 40, that is 7. And 41 to 45, 3. So, at first we have to find out the arithmetic team mean from the table. Okay. So, the necessary table for finding the arithmetic mean that we are to, going to draw at first. So, at first I am going to write the marks obtained from the table. So, marks obtained. So marks of 10 is how much? 6 to 10, then 11 to 15, then 16 to 20, 21 to 25, 26 to 30, 31 to 35, 36 to 
40, 41 to 45. So up to this, the information has been given. Now we are going to write the mid value. Mid value, how we are going to find out? Mid value, we know the if we just going to add 6 plus 10, like here, if I write it, 6 plus 10 by 2, that equal to uh, 16 by 2, that equal to 8. So, the mid value is 8. So, we are going to write here 8. Then, it will be 11 plus, 11 plus 15, so that will be 13 by 2. Okay, we will get 13. Then this one is 18. If you just add it, 21 plus 25, you will get 46. 46 by 2, you will get 23. Similarly, 26 plus 30, that will be 56. If you divide it by 2, you will get, that is 28. Then, if you add 31 plus 35, if you divide by 2, you will get 33. Then if you add 36 plus 40, if you divide it by 2, you will get, that is, 38. And the last one, 41 plus 45, if you, you will get, that is, 86. If you divide it by 2, you will get 43. So that is the mean value of the just the class interval which is given as the marks obtained, that is the mid value. Okay, now we are going to write the frequency that is given to us. Frequency. So, frequency. So, frequency is just given what is there. I am just going to write 5, that is 17, then 30, then 38. Then 35, then 10, 7, and 3. This is the frequency that, that is sum of the frequency. If you add it, 5 plus 17 plus 30 plus 38 plus 35 plus 10 plus 7 plus 3. If you add all of them, you will get that is 145. You can use calculator for finding this. Okay. Now we are going to find. Here, the product of these two, that is mid value and frequency. So, we are going to let here the mid value, that is xi. And frequency, that we are going to use in the short form, fi. So, we are going to write here summation of fi xi. Summation of fi xi. What is the meaning of i here? I represent individually the number of class. Okay, so this one is i equal to one. That means first class. Okay, then this is second class. That is i equal to two. This is third class. That is i equal to three. Similarly, this is fourth class. That means i equal to four. So for individually, i is here showing the number of class. So here, if you multiply them. You will get how much? 40. We know that. Right? Similarly, if you multiply uh, 13 plus 17, we are going to get that is 221. Similarly, if you add uh, 18 into uh, 30, you will get 540. If you add 23 and 38, and if you use calculator, you will get 874. Similarly, if you add 28 and 35, we are going to get 980. Okay? So, then if you multiply 33 into 10, that is 330. If you multiply 38 into 7, we will get 266. And finally, the last one, if you multiply 43 into 3, we are going to get 129. So, we are going to get Fi Xi for individual class. Again, I am going to tell that Fi, this one is Fi frequency, and Xi, that is what? 
mean value. So for i equal to 1, that means f, uh, f1 is 5, x1 is 8. So f1, x1 equal to 14. Similarly, the second class f2 equal to 17 and x2 equal to 13. If you just find the product, that will be 221. Similarly, you get all those uh, product of the individual classes of frequency and mid-value. So, I think you understand. Now, I am going to find the sum of total fi xi and that will be our 3380. So, there is going to write summation of fi xi that equal to 3380. If you use calculator, we can easily find this. Okay. So, 3380 that is our total fi xi. Now, we know the arithmetic mean. We know the arithmetic mean that is, we know arithmetic mean 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 x bar that equal to 1 by n summation of i equal to 1 f of k f i x i so here actually i equal to 1 means for class 1 for 2 then 3 then 4 so for different value of i that is represent the number of class so that is up to how much we don't know that is we just lay an unknown alphabet that is k okay so here how many classes are here we know that nine classes eight classes are here right so some maths there will be more than eight class so that's why that is showing that is i equal to one to k that means i equal to five i equal to one to five or i equal to one to eight if you are going to write eight so we are going to get a limitation, right? So for that, we are using here a variable that is k, which represents the number of class, okay? And starting from 1 and up to k. k means an unknown number. So if I exercise, if you just going to put the value of 1 by n, if you are going to use the calculator, we are going to get the arithmetic is 23.31. That is our uh, arithmetic mean of this data. So, the arithmetic mean is 23.31 and answer. So, this is the answer of this question of arithmetic mean. Now, we are going to draw the histogram of this table okay my dear students now we are going to draw the most important uh, thing of today's class histogram so uh, for drawing the histogram at first we have to draw the necessary table for drawing the histogram of obtained marks so you can see the marks obtained the, and the frequency that we get from the question that is 6 to 10 that is 5, 11 to 15 that is 17, then uh, 16 to 20 that is 30, 21 to 25 that is 38, 26 to 30 that is 35, 31 to 35 that is 10, 36 to 40 that is 7, 41 to 45 that is 3. So this is actually the information we get from the question. Now you can see the higher limit of the first class that is 10 and lower limit of the second class that is 11. So if you just observe there is a difference that is 1. Okay so between these two number if we just keep it like this we have a sort of problem of drawing the histogram. So for that uh, we have to make it easier and we, we are going to uh, just reduce the uh, lower limit by 0.5 and if you add 0 0.5 with the higher limit uh, by this way we can just uh, just solve the uh, the just the difference between the two numbers that the higher limit of the first class and lower limit of the uh, 
second class. Similarly, if we go through all of those information, we'll get this. So look at it, 6. If you just subtract 0 0.5 with 6, it will be uh, 5.5. And if you add uh, 10.5 with the higher limit, we'll get 10.5. Similarly, if you add, uh, if you subtract uh, 0 0.5 with uh, the 11, and you will get 10.5 and if you add uh, 0 0.5 with uh, 15 you will get 15.5 similarly uh, 15.5 to 20.5 then 20.5 to 25.5 25.5 to 30.5 30.5 to 35.5 then 35.5 to 40.5 similarly the last one is 40.5 to 45.5. So, this is the table we have to draw before going to draw the histogram. So, you can see this is the graph paper. We, we know it is how it looks like. So, you can see uh, here in this uh, graph paper, you can uh, see the boxes are uh, square in shape. So, uh, here we are just going to uh, draw the x axis and y axis this is x axis look at here x o x dash that is x axis and y o y dash that is our y axis so here we have to uh, just uh, just the x axis is represent the marks of pain and y axis that is represent frequency okay so now we are just uh, finding the number that is 5.5 you can see this one this number is 5.5 similarly this one is 10.5 this one is 11 15.5 then this is 20.5 you can see the number where which are here I'm just going to put them the next number is 25.5 then 30.5 then 35.5 .5, 45 40.5 45.5 so this is so now frequency are written here in the uh, just the y axis so here 0 1 2 3 4 5 so that is 5 then another 5 that is 10 another 5 15 another 5 20 another 5 35 25 30 35 and 40 so this is how we are going to uh, just uh, in the y axis we just show the frequency and uh, the X axis, we are just going to draw the marks obtained that is class interval. Now we are going to uh, just put the information here. This is a broken line segment which is represent the omitted part of the uh, previous that is origin to uh, the first lower limit. Here it is 5.5, .5, but sometimes it's start more with the more number. So uh, that was the time it is actually uh, if you just skip that it will looks like uh, Incomplete so that's why the broken line segment indicates that there is some part which is not We are you going to use so that is actually omitted so that's why the broken segment has been drawn like this now the first class 5.5 to 10.5 the frequency is 5 so here we are going to put that is 5, okay, 5, I think you understand 5, you can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like this, it is drawn. Second class that is 10.5 to 15.5, the frequency is here how much, 17. So look at here, that is 5, 10 and 15, then another 2, 17. So up to this, it will be, look at it, just have been drawn like this by using the scale and pencil you have to draw all those things the next one 15.5 to 20.5 the frequency is how much 30 so here it is 20 25 30 so up to this we have to draw so i think you understand this is not a very uh, big uh, thing that is difficult thing for you i think you understand you can draw by your own also now the next one is how much next one is 38 frequency that is 20.5 to 25.5 so 20 to 20.5 20. to 25.5 that is here that is 35 and another 3 that is 38.5 up to this and this is how we are going to draw 
The next one that is uh, 25.5 to 30.5, that is actually 35. The frequency is 35. So here up to this, we have to draw the 30.5 frequency. The next one is how much? 35, 30.5 to 35.5, that is 10 frequency. So here you can see that it's 10. So here we have to draw up to this. The next one that is 35.5 to 40.5, that is 7 is the frequency. So here that is you can see 5, 6, 7 is the here is drawn. The last one is 40.5 to 45.5, that frequency is 3. So here we are just going to draw it. Now after drawing completed all those things, we have to shade this by using the pencil and uh, it, if you just uh, shade it, it uh, looks <coughs> complete and it is separate from the other part you can understand. So this is how we are going to draw the histogram. So uh, after drawing, we have to write some sentence uh, how we are using or the x axis, y axis, how many small square represent uh, the marks obtained in the class interval, and how many small square represent one unit of the frequency, and what is broken segment, all those information you have to write what I actually discuss here. So, considering one unit of the graph paper, so in this graph paper, this is one unit of the graph paper, just a small square, represent one of the class interval. So, here the, the 5.5 to 10.5. Uh, all those are things that represent how much one of the class interval. Then we are going to uh, just one unit of the graph paper uh, uh, to denote one of the frequency along the x, y axis. So in y axis, small square represent one of the frequency. The histogram has been drawn. By this way, we have drawn histogram, the broken segment of the origin. So this is the or origin and the broken segment 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 to 5.5 uh, so that is actually uh, shown the uh, previous interval of, of our omitted so that means the omitted part is shown so i think you understand now uh, inshallah you will uh, you can solve it by your own i hope that uh, inshallah we are going to solve the next math of today's class so, uh, my dear students, here is question number 11 of exercise 11. The question is told us find the arithmetic mean from the table. Okay. So, daily income of few people are given here. According to the income, the number of people are here. So, 2,210 taka earned by two people, 2,215 taka. That is three people are getting this money, 2,220. That is 4 people are getting this money, 2,225, that is 7 people are earning this money, 2,230, that is 6 people are earning this money, 2,235, 5 people are getting this money, 2,245 people are getting this money, 2,245 taka earned by 4 people and last that is 2,250 taka earned 3 people in a daily. So, in, uh, so <coughs> So now we are going to find the arithmetic mean from the table. So here the necessary table for finding the arithmetic mean. Okay. So at first we have to write the daily income that is given here. That is daily income in Taka. So what is that? Just I'm writing the things which is given here 2210 2220 2,250. So, this is the amount of the daily income. Okay, then I'm just writing here. Now, we will write the frequency which is given here. Frequency. So, so this is the frequency that is. 
that is 2, 3, 5, 7, 6, 5, 5, 4, 3. So, if you see here, there is no uh, class interval here. So, actually, it is a, just a single number. So, you don't need to find out any mid value. So, for that, we are going to write here, that is our fi. Okay, so that is our fi and for three. If you see the, uh, in the uh, daily income, you can see there is no uh, class interval. So, the, we have, you can see, if we, if you observe the, here is no, okay, here if you observe the daily income, there is no class interval is given. So, we don't need to find out any mid value, okay. So, this is our xi and frequency that is our fi. Okay, so xi and fi. So if you want to find out the fi xi, so this is your fi xi. So if you multiply by two, we, we are going to get this is uh, four four two zero. Then if you multiply, that is six six four five. If you multiply, that is one one one. Uh, zero that is if you multiply the next one but if you use the calculator you are going to get one five five seven five if you use calculator we are going to get it then if you multiply six by two thousand two hundred and thirty we are uh, going to get uh, one three three eight zero one three three eight zero if you multiply uh, 5 with uh, uh, 5 with 2235 we are going to get 11175 then if you uh, multiply the next one uh, by 5 you are going to get 111200 if you multiply the next one uh, that is 2245 by 4 we are going to get 8 1980 and the very last one if you multiply we're going to get six thousand seven hundred and fifty so here the n is how much n is if you add them we are going to get that is 40 and if you add the fi xi like the previous one if I sign, we are going to get that is 89,225. 89,225. So that is our summation of if I So I think you understand. Now we are going to find the arithmetic mean. So we know, we know arithmetic mean. x bar equal to 1 by m summation of i equal to 1 to k fi xi so 1 by 40 into 89,225 so if you use calculator you are going to get that is 2230 2230 for arithmetic mean x bar that equal to 1 by n summation of i equal to 1 to k that is f i x i so that is 1 by n equal to 1 by 40 into 89225 so if it will be 2230.625 okay so the answer the arithmetic arithmetic mean 
equal to 2230.625 okay so this is the answer okay so i think you understand the math and now your hw so hw number hw number 16 exercise 11 problem number 10 11 and example 07 so solve all this math submit your subject teacher and don't neglect any class of any subject and inshallah and in next video you will solve more math submit your subject teacher uh, practice all those maths stay home keep safe don't go outside and inshallah in the next video we will do some more maths until that bye bye assalamu alaikum